Hey guys, I'm Joe from the World of Hoops, and I'm here today to talk to you about something that gives basketball players and teams more grief and trouble than almost anything else, and that's ankle injuries. So there's a lot of people out there that have bad ankles, you know, one ankle that they'll always roll, or it always seems to be injured, it just doesn't seem strong enough. And there's a lot of people out there also with healthy ankles. But what we want to do today is to take those people with the bad ankles and strengthen their ankles enough so that they're not going to have any issues with that ever again. And for the people that don't have issues, we're going to do some preventative care, some prehab, to make sure that they never run into any issues. So we're going to create some invincible ankles today. So before I get into some flexibility and strengthening uh, and band work that we're going to go through, I want to touch on a few things you can just change up or a few small, small things you can do to create additional ankle strength and flexibility just on a day in day out basis. So the first thing is when you're doing your workouts, your, your workouts in the weight room or on the track, not, not the ones in the, in the actual gym, uh, you want to stick with a more minimalistic shoe. You want something that isn't over supportive like a basketball shoe. You don't want to be working out in your in your basketball shoes. So a few examples of those are uh, one is a, a racing flat. So cross country runners and track and field athletes use these, but they're they're very lightweight. This is probably four or five ounces. They have a minimal sole and heel, and it forces your foot to do a little bit more of the work, and it's a little more natural. Uh, so this is a good option. This is the Asics Piranha. Another is uh, another example of a racing flat, but this one's a little more structurally sound, is the Inov 8, so I-N-O-V-8. But these also have a, a, thinner, a thinner sole and a little bit thinner heel. Like I said, a little heavier, a little more rigid than the, the, the A6 Piranha, but these are good. The Inov 8, and this is the F-Lite 195. Another option is the Vibram 5 Finger. So this is, a, this is a very minimalistic shoe and you're going to get some funny looks when you, look at, when you wear these because they have individual slots for your toes. But all this really has is a neoprene bottom uh, to prevent any injuries to the foot from stepping on anything. But uh, this, is, this is made to mimic barefoot, so this is obviously a, a good solution. Uh, one other thing you can do is to actually just go barefoot during the day. You know, you don't need to always have shoes on. When you're walking around your house, if you're, if, or, or even out in your yard, if you're barefoot, you're gonna be strengthening your foot, the ankle, and all the tendons and ligaments all around there. So that's, a, that's another good strategy. One last strategy is um, rolling. So you can use, a, this is a lacrosse ball here, but you could also use a tennis ball. What you wanna do is you just wanna put it on the ground and roll your foot around on it. And a tennis ball is a little more mild, the cross ball is a little harder. Uh, you can start sitting down, you can do this while you're watching TV, playing a video game, sitting at your desk, anything. And then if you want more pressure, you can stand up and you can get a little more pressure on it like that. But these are three things you can do with, that, with minimal effort to, uh, to, start to start to get on that path for healthy ankles. Okay, so our first two stretches are actually going to isolate the calf muscle, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a wall here. So, first one, lean against the wall with your arms, your forearms for support. You're going to have one leg forward, one leg back. The rear leg is the one where you're going to feel the stretch. Uh, you want to keep your rear heel on the ground, and then you want to lean forward towards the wall and get a stretch in that calf. So that's the first one. The second one is actually, you're just going to stand about a foot from the wall. The second stretch, you're just going to stand about a foot from the wall. Put your toes up on the wall with your heel on the ground. And then you're going to lean forward towards the wall so you feel that good stretch in the calf. Now we're going to go through a few ankle stretches sitting here in the chair. So what we're going to do first is the tibialis anterior stretch. So what we want to do is lift this left leg up onto the right leg and we're going to then point our toes and then we're going to grab those toes gently with our right hand and we're going to 
put some pressure backwards towards our body for two or three seconds, and then release. Do the same thing, and release. Uh, so that's a tibias anterior stretch. The next one is the ankle eversion stretch. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, bring the left leg up. This time, we're going to grab around the midfoot area with our right hand. And we're, this time, the pool is going to be towards us and gently upwards. So pull there, two or three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. The next one is actually ankle inversion. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the foot up onto the chair, right near your butt. And you're going to grab your foot around the midfoot toe area and you're going to pull it to the outside. So you're going to pull it away from you gently. One, two, three. Same thing with the two or three second count. One, two. The last one is just a, a range of motion stretch. And what you're going to do here is just to work on the range of motion of the ankle. So you're going to lift your foot up. And the key here is to move only at the ankle. You don't want to move your leg around. But what you're going to do is you're going to draw out the alphabet using your toes. So starting out, you do the A there, then a B, and then a C. But you notice how it's just my ankle that's moving, it's not my whole leg, so the B wouldn't look like this, the B would look just like that. To some strengthening exercises for the ankle. So you can see we've got a hand towel placed on the floor here, so we're going to do three exercises with the hand towel. First one is actually called towel scrunches, so what we're going to do is your heel should be placed firmly on the ground. What you want to do is you want to curl your toes under, for reach your toes out as far as you can, and then using just your toes, not bringing your heel up, bring the towel back as far as you can. Then again, lift your toes up, reach them out, and bring them back in as far as you can. Reach them out, bring them in as far as you can. Reach them out. The next one is towel scoops. So the towel down again. This is a similar thing, but what we're going to do here is you're going to move your foot, you're going to scoop it to the inside to push that towel inwards. So you're going to do that, but again, keeping your heel down. So you're just using the middle of the foot to scoop the towel inwards. Last one is towel pushaways. And you might have guessed, but what we do here is we're going to push the towel outwards. So rather than pulling it back with the toes like we were before, we're actually going to curl the toes under first while the heel's still firmly on the ground, and we're going to push the towel away. Curl the toes in, push the towel away. Now in this one, you might have to lift up the heel just a little bit so the towel can come forward, but you curl them under, and then push them away. You don't move the heel at all, you just lift it just a hair. Push it away. The next strengthening exercise is something a lot of you have probably seen before, but this is just a simple calf raise. So what I have here is I have some, uh, some weight plates, some 10 pound plates here, but you could use a step, you could use uh, a two by four, uh, a box, anything. But what you want to do is you just want to put your foot on here, and you're simply going to lift your, lift your body up, down, up, make sure it's a nice controlled, slow motion. We'll do calf raises. And the next thing is actually, it's called a heel walk. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep your toes. You're going to try to keep your toes up off the ground, even your midfoot off the ground, and you're going to walk on just your heels, slowly and softly. So you don't want to be banging around, but nice and slow and soft, walk. Alright, so we're at the final part of our ankle health video here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some band work. This is a combination of stretching and strengthening. We're going to throw the band around our body, around the waist, and then we're going to take the other end and we're going to loop it around the foot just one time. We're going to go through a few stretches. So the first one, we want it just around the midfoot, more towards the toes, but we don't want it too low. We want it right around the ball of the foot. Just pull the ball of the foot. So the first one we have it around, and we're just going to go in a full circular motion. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. 
it just gets that full range of motion. Again, we don't want to be moving the legs so much as we really just want to be working the ankle. Okay, so that's the first one, ankle rotation. The next one is ankle inversion and eversion, similar to like we did on the chair. So what we're going to do is the inversion portion, we want to resist the movement. So when we're doing the inversion and we're moving the foot inward, we want to resist on this side. And then when we're moving outward, we want to resist on this side. So resist the movement. Inversion, eversion. Inversion, eversion. Okay. The next one is uh, we're going to flex and extend the, the foot. So what we're going to do is we want to bend back as far as we can, and then we want to extend out as far as we can. Bend back, extend. Bend back. in some of these stretching exercises, the strengthening exercises, and the band work, or you're going to have invincible ankles. Uh, try to mix it in two or three days a week if you can, um, maybe more if you, have, if you already have an ankle injury, to get it back to the point where it's going to be strong and, and invincible just like everybody else's. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.